Okay, I've had quite a few people uh, message me and ask about this thing. Um, this is our uh, compound charged R53 track car. Um, it's 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 obviously it's obviously a bit of a mess. It's a if you're interested in making things all polished and all the rest of it, then um, this isn't probably the video for you. Um, we bought this about three years ago as a bender. Um, we we both got like ongoing track uh, ongoing project cars, and we wanted to get out on the track a bit. So this seemed like the obvious choice. Came along at the right money. Um, so for the first year and a bit or so, we did what everyone else did. We put big intercooler on the top, 17% pulley. Um, we then went over and did the uh, the GP map on the facelift ECU. This isn't the facelift car. Um, we put the ST injectors in. It did a couple hundred horse. It was all right. Um, but like everyone, you know, power's not quite enough. So the mods on this are not probably what you'd see every day. It, you know, I know the compound charging ain't a new thing. It ain't groundbreaking in any way or form. But the reasons we did this car were just because it's just cost. It's all parts that we've had hanging around. Um, sometimes there's off some really random stuff. But I'll, I'll turn the camera around in a second. I'll walk you through um, how, why, and what. If you're interested, cool. If not... Yeah, it is what it is. It's our little gem, bless her up. Okay, so obviously from the outside, the, the car is obviously quite shit. Um, the, the paint finish is fantastic, as you can see, but you've never seen a slow golf ball, have you? So, um, why is it green? Uh, it was grey. Bonnet came over. Oh, we had a funny coloured door on it, because, like I say, we bought it crashed. Um, we ended up just getting some NATO green and rollering it one afternoon, like you do. Um, because the bonnet came over, we had bonnet catches in the old bonnet. We bought some um, Amazon belts for, I don't know, a couple of quid. I can't remember what they were. Holds the bonnet down, an absolute treat. So, we've got the, uh, the uh, race race bonnet state. Okay, so... This is where I'll start going through. So let's first go through um, drivetrain. We're on um, the Bilstein B14s. We've got adjustable top mounts. We've got the the later gearbox. Um, we pulled the diff out of that and we used a um, M Factory diff and gear set from a Focus ST170. Um, this gives us short shorter um, gears, which seems to help us a bit. So. Um, we have that we we pulled off the 17 percent pulley we put a plus 10 percent pulley on the charger we used a later charger as well the the teflon line one we've used the turbo charger from a uh focus st250 it's good for about 300 horse um i've got sensors everywhere pre and post um turbo egt wideband obviously all the usual shit um methanol injection we've got uh, interestingly you can put the normal map sensor in the t-map um, hole, which you're probably aware because they're different, but you can measure positive boost. So we're just boosting through charge cooler is off of um, an old Subaru Impreza we had hanging around. That's the charge cooler rad there. Pump at the front um, comes on once the RPM reaches, um, I think it's above 600 revs, and then that pump fires in. So, um, so in through the charge cooler into the throttle body, um, and then round in the normal fashion that you'd get for your your charger. Um, we've had. Uh, little bracket again this is it's all um <laughs> it's all obviously quite crap but it it all just works um so it's completely stripped inside and out it's literally just our budget track toy so so far we've got um the wheels off of a friend of mine sold me them they're off an mg <laughs> job done so ford st170 gearbox ford turbo we made the manifold it's just a like a log manifold um, uh, stainless steel. I put some pictures up somewhere else if someone's interested. Coil bracket. We just moved up out the way. A little, little fold there. Just a bit of a heat shield. Uh, nothing more to be said, really. Oh, we 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 fucked the ECU off. Um, we put a max ECU in there, which I'll show you now. Um, okay, let's get inside. I'll show you. So yeah, it's all exciting in here. Um, uh, nothing to be said really in here. It's just a pair of crap seats. Got it out. Uh, Max ECU. Um, obviously, we've got the uh, the tablet there. That's the air filter. <laughs> we kind of ran out of room under the bonnet again. We don't really care much about the car, so it just needed to work. So, um, yeah, let's start her up. You can hear the charger, uh, hear the turbocharger spool up immediately when we fire up. Um, so, this is where we can get the interesting stuff. Um, so, we've got We've got three sets. This is obviously all our data. We can. I'll, I'll rev it for you. It's a bit 
bit cold, bless her, but again, it doesn't really matter. So we've got um, three different boost levels we can have. We can just activate activate through the tablet. We, we've got Pussy, we've got Fast, and we, we've got VTech. Um, <laughs> they're different varying levels of boost. Um, so one of the other things we've got is um, we've got a bit of anti-lag, so it's only a mild anti-lag, but again, the turbos are only cheap as shit, so we pop, pop one, we can literally change it on the side of the track. And we've got methanol. The moment we put that on, it charges the methanol pump, which is in back there, um, and it adds in another timing table to our original timing tables, which we've set up. Which I'll, I've, I've done another video I did a few weeks ago whilst I was, um, I'll turn it off. I did a, uh, a dyno video a few weeks ago, but I've just not edited it up. It's, it's quite interesting what it does and what it doesn't. I've also got um, a little bit where I did with some VP racing fuels, but essentially we can just flick them on and off as, as and when we want. Like I say, um, I'll post this video up and then I'll go on to the dyno video and you can see um, what it makes on each boost level. It's really interesting. I can get um, pretty much whatever boost we want by 13, 1400 RPM if we want it. Um, it, it really, really, really boosts up massively. We we've gained something like a hundred foot of torque at two, three thousand revs. Again, um, I'm not overly bothered if we bend the rods. We know full well we're going. Oh, it's a steering wheel off an XR3i <laughs> that we had ages ago. Poor thing. It's just an amalgamation of a load of bits and crap we've had really. Um, so yeah, we know we're going to bend rods and all the rest of it. But so far, it's been alright. It's been like this for I don't know. It's done a good day on the dyno um, um i'm just looking forward to getting out on the track but yeah we know we're going to bend rods a friend of mine's given us some um pistons and rods we've got another two or three of these motors they're just just cheap so yeah just see if we can bend some shit if we don't crash it a good time to roll